We are under the line as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Albuquerque Isotopes and the Las Vegas Aviators. It's baseball on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Brett Anderson, a Texas-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, looking at the numbers, you can see this guy had an ERA over four last season. He'd like to do a lot better than that. He's got to do a much better job of keeping base runners off the bases. Cut the walks down and try to limit the hits we per nine innings Albert pitch. Person. Stepping in, Francisco Ortega. Francisco. And we are set for Ortega. baseball here this evening. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. If that's any indication, that I think we're going to see some like aggressive at bats in this one. Take the first pitch there. of the game? No way. He squared it up and winds up on second base after a nice line drive. Great opportunity to get on the board right out of the box. At the plate, Barry Granderson hit in the air out to right. Right fielder giving chase. He makes the catch, and the runner from second will tag and hit for third. And the throw in gets away from him. That is third. The short stop. And now a look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, d -Row? Matty, this lineup is built on one thing, and that's moving the ball over the fence. This is a station-to-station -station team. Not a lot of speed in this lineup, but they don't need much speed when they're moving traffic to both gaps. From the stretch, here's the pitch. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And this one bounds around against the wall. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Already their second double of this first inning, guys. Yeah, he's not fooling anybody so far, Matt. Like you said, that's the second double he's given up here. And if he doesn't get things figured out, it's going to be a real short outing. In now, John Mora. Runner breaks for third. Bounce it to the left side. Throw in time at first for route number two. That is it. The third baseman. Charles Stevens. At the plate, Charles Stevens. Runner in scoring position with two gone. First offering on its way. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. Throw to first in time. And the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. Bottom of the first coming up. The Isotopes lead it one to nothing. Cal Gooden gets the call in game five of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Into the box now, Anthony McCaldy. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Lead half of the first. For the Aviators, the shortstop, Anthony more called in. And now pitch on the way. Popped up. Barry in foul ground. One down. Batting second. The left fielder. Nick Martini. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in the left-handed hitting outfielder Nick Martini. First pitch on its way. Fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. And this is drifting foul back into the stands.
into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Batting third. Set to get his evening the at the plate baseman. started. Dominique, Dominique. Montano. And Montano. it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. First pitch cutter that's by him for strike one. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. It appears to be all systems go to start the new year as they've come out of the gates on a four-game winning streak. Yeah, guys, you know what as well as I do. Being in the clubhouse before the game, this team's riding no high. 4-0 and to start the road trip. They're more concerned about what they're having for dinner than worried about the opposing pitcher right now. He pulls this one into right. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. Throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. One hits all they get. We'll go on to the top of inning number two. Albuquerque's out in front, one to nothing. To the plate now, Beating Lee for Willis. The right fielder. Lee. As he'll swing and lift a Willis. fly ball to right center. And that's in there. Base hit. Batting seven. The first baseman. John Berry. Into the box now, Don Berry. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Two run shot to straightaway center. Home run number three here in the early going, as it's now a three nothing ball game. I was the manager I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy I mean he's hit three home runs against them in this series what more do they need to see four five Jeez, enough is enough stepping in now Jay Harris Jay Harris line to shortstop and there's one away batting nine the catcher Griff Adam. Stepping into the box, Chris Adams. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the pitch. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Martini will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. The batter, number nine, designated hitter. Francisco Ortega. Digging in for his second at bat, Francisco Ortega. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. The Isotopes lead it three to nothing. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Julio Chassin. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. The windup and the 0-1. Just a tick behind for a strike. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Batting fifth. Now batting, Mark Canna, as he'll Mark. get his first opportunity in this Canna. one. Pitch on the way. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. 
And foul, though it had the home run distance. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hit on the ground toward the left. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. And hey, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoot from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D-Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground. And you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Here's the 0-1. Kenna, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against that the batter. Depth. He's going to have to the put that in the memory depth. bank because that guy Door made bad. a nice two-strike approach right Door there. Bad. Made a nice two-strike adjustment. Standing in now, Corbin Joseph. As he'll go oh, after yeah. the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will land untouched. Gooden has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Batting it. The At right the plate, field. Jason Keller. Jason Keller. Has a look. Now the pitch. Hit to third. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll go now to the top of the third. Albuquerque's out in front, three to nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Beating Digging in is the outfielder, the Barry field. Granderson. Barry Granderson. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Kenna is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. Now batting. Shortstop. Do Yoshi. Seven. Standing in, Tsuyoshi Savage. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to center field. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. At the plate, John Mora swinging a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. This guy just feasts on mistakes How up in the zone. And that's exactly what oh. he gets right here. A belt-high pitch. He drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. In now, Charles Stevens. High and deep to right center. Long run for the center fielder. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is into score. The right fielder, number 10. 
Lee. Striding in once Willis. again, Lee Willis. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. A bouncer up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And the run is in to score from second. Now a 5-0 lead. Now about it. Yeah, and when a pitching coach goes to the mound this early, he's probably just Jerry. looking to reset the pitcher's mindset, get him to forget about the negative, and give him something positive to focus on. We'll see if he responds. Late now, Don Barry fouled off. The 0 and 1 delivery. Uh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. A two-run blast to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Now here comes the skipper out of the first base dugout heading for the mound. And that's going to be the end now for Brett Anderson. So he'll depart here tonight and these fans will not be terribly appreciative I don't imagine as he was pretty much dreadful in this one. Your Orlando please. Jones is going now to come on to pitch here theater. and in just the third inning you Number have to 10. think he'll be asked to Orlando. eat some innings. Go. to the plate now, now Jay Harris the fielder. Yeah. hit high and deep Harris. out there to left center field a ball that's carrying and he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning so they score four times on four base hits no errors and no one left we'll head now to the home half of inning number three the isotopes lead it seven to nothing Digging in now, Johnny Beltran. He was among the many who failed to record a base hit in the loss yesterday. The third baseman, Johnny Beltran. First pitch misses here to the leadoff man in the inning. The number nine hitter in the lineup. It's ball one. Swing and a miss, one and one. Ball one strike. And he fouls this one off. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. Now batter number Stepping seven. Stepping into the box, Short Anthony Mercaldi. His last at bat Mercaldi. didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Hey! 0-2. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Into the slide, and he comes up with a great catch for the second out. Now batting, left fielder, Nick Martini. 
That's a slick play out there as we take a look at it on show motion. He was charging in quickly, and he slides to get under the ball just before it reaches the ground and gets the out. Well done. Ready now, Nick Martini. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, he failed to pull a bat off his shoulder in that one, Matty. Down on three pitches, pretty much a wasted A.B. This has to be a better effort. Owen won the count. Yeah. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. And he gets a round on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Now batting, the first baseman, Dominique Montano. Into the box, Dominique Montano. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Behind 0-2 now. Two out here and a runner at second. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Striding into the box, Chris Adams, for 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. they got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. Boy, this guy is off to some kind of series, and he's one of the better road hitters in all of baseball. Right. And some guys just have a knack for lighting it up on the road, getting that good night's sleep, and finding a way to get to the yard early and work on their craft. So now to the plate, Francisco Ortega, as he rips it on the ground to second. And that is just past his outstretched glove, and that ought to be a base hit. Fro won't get him. Danny, how frustrating is this right here? First and third, you got problems all over the place. Well, you come right up, they go right, you're starting an inning fresh, you're expecting to have a one, two, three inning, you look up, all of a sudden, first and third, nobody out, it's time to make some good pitches. Stepping in now, Barry Granderson, liner toward right center. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's eight to nothing. Now batting. Ready for another shot Yoshi. now. To Yoshi Savage. Yeah, Already there. two for two. He'll look to add on right here. First pitch of the at bat. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Keller in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. The batter, number 24, second baseman, John Mora. Digging in and looking for more, John Mora. First pitch coming, here it is. Hard hit ball to short, right to him. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. A run on two hits, and they leave one. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Albuquerque's out in front, eight to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Leading off. And standing in is the DH, Julio Chassin. Julio Chassin. First delivery to him on the way. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it any time he wants for a strike. And it's fouled away. And 
and this is swung on and missed in this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away he's racking up a fair amount of strikeouts now, now out there that's the six to this point so Mark. he's got good stuff and he's fooling Can't a not. lot of these hitters So now it's Mark Canna. Now Canna smacks one to left. Lots of carry on this one. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. It's a solo shot for Mark Canna. Second home run early in the year. And they're now on the board, though still well behind. dug themselves quite a hole but they say the first thing you need to do when that happens is to stop digging well with that solo shot they've stopped digging but they've got a long way to go before they climb out of this hole completely into the now box Pat now Decker. Johnny G Johnny fouled away G. one for one after a single this first time up Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ah, had him fooled as he swings through the curveball. Two down. Every pitcher gives up home runs, some more than others, but the best the ones forget about the them as soon as the next guy Corvette. digs into the batter's box. He showed me a lot right there by going after the next hitter and striking him out on only three pitches. In now, Corbin Joseph. Swing and a liner. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. The batter. The right fielder. Jason Keller. To the plate now, Jason Keller. Popped him up. Adams has a play. And that's the third out. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We played four full. The Isotopes lead it 8-1. to one. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll give way to the third baseman, Charles Stevens. High in the air out to center field. Kenna is there. One pitch, one out. The white and there's a final look at the numbers for the Lee. starter in this one. And clearly he was off his game this evening. Hey, this certainly wasn't the outing he was looking for when he left the bullpen while warming up. Too many pitches over the heart of the plate. Four home runs. That's right. Four home runs he allowed in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. On the line, that's a base hit in the left field. Well, Dan, the sun goes down and this guy lights up right here. That's his third knock of the night. The first uh, talk about having a good night. Three hits and hey, he might have another at bat or two before this one ends. Standing in now, Don Barry lifted out towards straightaway center field. Kenna is there now, and he has it, two gone. Now batter, the center field. Now at the plate, Jay yeah. Harris. He comes Harris. in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch on its way. This is line to left. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Riding in, Johnny Leading Beltron. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. 
Yeah, Johnny. but it was a good changeup, Matty. Well good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And there's out number one. Every no pitcher batter, loves to seven. get quick outs, right? Short How stop. about that? One Anthony. pitch, one out, Four a pop-up to start the inning. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Anthony Mercaldi. He flew out in his last at-bat. Into the corner and slicing foul. The wind-up and the 0-1. Called strike 0 and 2. Grounded softly down the line toward first. He's got it, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting left fielder Nick Martini. Nick Martini, the next to hit. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Two out, nobody on. Fouled off. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And Leading next off, to hit is the catcher, Chris the Adams. Catcher, Chris Adams. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hard hit ball to short. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The batter, number nine. Designated hitter. Francisco Ortega. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Francisco Ortega, two for three with a double on his line so far. Line towards center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much the trouble for the second the out. Barry Granderson. Coming to the plate now, Barry Granderson, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. First pitch coming, here it is. Left center, base hit. Running hard, he's digging for second. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. As we take a look at the replay here, you can now see that, that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. At the plate, Tsuyoshi Savage. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and here comes Leading the off. first baseman, the Dominique Aviators. Montano. The first baseman, Dominique Montano. Now the pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. A little roller toward the hole, reined in. And that's out number one. Now batting. The designated hitter. Julio. Justin. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter. Julio Chassin.
First delivery to him on the way. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Here's a late no swing and a miss, strike. strike two. One out, nobody on. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0-2. Got him, and he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. No, so they've either. really figured out Mark. how to attack this guy. Can I? Stepping in now, Mark Canna. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. Strike two. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one by the look on the manager's face. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Seventh inning ready to roll and set to go is the second baseman, John Mora. The second baseman. John. Ready to deliver. Here's the Mora. first pitch. Oh, and this is hit high and deep out to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Wait, he, Page, comes on to pitch complete. now, hoping for better now results than the, the other aviator. arms that they've run Number out there in this three. one. He. Hey. Into the box, Charles Stevens lifted in the air to center. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he'll get into third here on the flyout, so he's 90 feet away here with the one gone. Number 10, Lee Willis. So striding in, Lee Willis. He's looking to go four for four with a base hit right here. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. No play as the run comes in to score, and we're all hoping he's going to be okay on the mound. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg, and that is his plant leg, which is always a concern, but from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Don Barry will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line toward right center. Kenna is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now batting, the center fielder, Jay Harris. Now with the plate, Jay Harris. First offering on its way. Oh, that liner drilled the pitcher right on the mound. And they'll wind up getting the force anyway. So a crazy play there, and the inning is over. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. Albuquerque's out in front, 9-1. to one. So striding forward now, Johnny G. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. 
Johnny G. First pitch on its way. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Oh, one pitch on its way. Aye. Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider. The count now 0 and 2. He's getting deep into the outing, but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. Willis is there, one away. Now batting, the second baseman, Corbett Joseph. Ready for another chance? Corbin Joseph, one for two on his line so far in the game. The pitch. Mm, a little tardy oh, there, no balls and a strike. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding his zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Bases are empty, one man out. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Stays alive, still 0-2. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The next 0-2. One ball, two strikes. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right. But now what's really it. impressive right to me, he hasn't walked Jason. anyone either. He's just pounding now, uh, the zone. His stuff is dirty today. So now to the plate, Jason Keller as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. What a performance so far. Throwing first pitch strikes to 90% of the batters. It's hard to get any better than that. Strike two up in the zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hard hit ball to second. And that is through into right field for a single. Boy, not the way you'd like to go up an 0-2 pitch to you, but from a hitter's Third perspective, pitch. a pretty good job of Johnny. staying alive 0-2. Yeah, Bill and he Braun. did an excellent job on the offensive side. Not to let the A-B get away from him. I know he was down 0-2, but he pulled his neck and he stayed in there. To the plate now, Johnny Beltron popped him up. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. This one pretty well in the bag. Eighth inning coming up. The Isotopes lead it 9-1. to one. Into the box now, Chris Adams. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Into the box now, Francisco Ortega. Francisco. As he lines it out to center. Kenna is there, and he has it for the first out. The left fielder, number eight, Barry Granderson. Digging in the switch hitter, Barry Granderson. One run in and one gone so far this inning. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit hard on the ground to second. A dive, and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Shortstop. Yoshi. 
Seven. In now, Tsuyoshi Savage. Pretty well struck, high and deep to left field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The batter, number 24, second baseman, John Mora. Next will be the cleanup hitter, John Mora. He's two for four in the ballgame. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Line to the right side. In there, a base hit. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. Bottom of the eighth coming up. Albuquerque's out in front, 10 to 1. Now at the plate, Anthony Mercaldi. He leads off their half of the Lead eighth, up. and they've been Gordon unable to get Aviator. that starter out of the game That's to this point. Stop. Yeah, he Anthony. settled in early on the mound, Gordon. partly due to the lead his guys gave him hey. to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Late decision to swing that okay. time, and as a result, it's 0-2. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Now batting. Settling in now, field. Nick Martini. Nick. He's got a hit in three Martini. at bats to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Hit on the ground to short. Throw on to first. Two gone. The first baseman, number 22, Dominique Montano. Now to the plate, Dominique Montano. They're quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Looking up is the right fielder, and it's gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him, as it's now down to an eight-run ball game. Some people would say this homer is wasted because they're down so big tonight, but I'm not one of them. I think anything you can build on and take into the next game is valuable, and at least they're still battling. Stepping in now, Julio Chassin. The designated hitter. He'll swing and hit this one Julio. hard, but foul off to the left Chassin. and out of play. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Grounder down the line at third. Speared on the dive. Hey, now. Oh. They call it the hot corner for a reason. And this is a beauty to take us to break. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Stepping in, Charles Stevens. He'll swing it from the left side right here. Charles Stevens. Now here it comes. To first. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting, right fielder, Lee Willett. Striding in and working on a terrific performance in this one, Lee Willis. And we'll see if he can put together a rare five-hit performance here. High and deep to right center. Looking up is the center fielder. Still ranging back. And it's gone as they add still another. Solo shot to right center. Second home run early in the year as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Your 
Richie Miranda comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Miranda. Now back. At the plate now, the Don Barry. Don Barry. Lying toward the gap in left center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Now batting. Well, the lefty 17. on lefty, this is a tough yeah. matchup. But he stays Barrett. in there, keeps that front shoulder closed, and just rips the pitch for a two-bagger. Nice job of defying the odds there. At the plate, Jay Harris, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ready He's with going, the 0 1. He's going, he's going. And the runner's breaking for third. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, catcher, Chris Adams. So digging in now, Chris Adams. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Well, if anybody was wondering why they're losing, there's the reason. When you're given a chance to make a big play, you've got to make it. Or you're going to be on the wrong in the games more often than not. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Francisco Ortega. First pitch on its way hit hard towards center and that'll get down for a base hit obvious pitch recognition right there oh oh change ups the usually field. get guys out in front but he was there able to stay back Rangers recognize play. it and drive it for a base hit To the plate now. Barry Granderson drives it out to deep right center field. Center fielder on the run. Now this will rattle up against the wall. And not in time as the second run scores. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this yeah, one man. locked up. Well, I tell you, those are always big, those add-on insurance runs. Big RBI You're right there complete. for a little bit more breathing now room. For the David Watanabe comes on to pitch now, hoping for better David. results than the other Watanabe. arms that they've run out there in this one. Into the box now, Tsuyoshi Savage. He grounds it sharply to third. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch, and the inning is over. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. The Isotopes lead it 14 to two. Bottom of the inning now, and striding into Lead bat up. next, it will be Mark Canna. The center field. First delivery to him Mark. on the way. Canna. Line hard. Foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swings through it for strike oh, number two. Count remains at 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And a good two strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0 and 2.
popped up. Savage is there. One away. Now batting. Catcher. At the plate, Johnny, Johnny G. G. First delivery to him on the way. Late that time for a strike. Just a tick behind for a strike. This hitter right now looks overmatched with a fastball. I think you go right back to it. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Still no balls and two strikes. The 0-2 once more. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. On to first. And they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Now batting second baseman. Corbin Joseph. Digging in, Corbin Joseph. He's working on a one for three thus far. Yeah. In there, no balls and a strike. Two out, nobody on. Curveball close, but it's one and one. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, listen, in baseball, we don't see very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts, but listen, he was good from the first inning through the ninth. Well-deserved complete game victory. 14-2 to two, the final score in this one. The Isotopes put a 14 in the run column here today. Cal Gooden gets the win on the mound his first of the year as he struck out 13 in this one. Brett Anderson allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB of Network. Good night, Four everybody. Four hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please... Drive home safely.